A civil rights group is calling for two Marion police officers to be fired and charged with murder after police shot and killed a man earlier this month. News 13's Jack Bilyeu tells us what the Racial Justice Network has to say about the case. 29-year-old Prince Gurley was shot and killed on May 5th after officers on patrol noticed a disturbance between him and his mother. Representatives from the Racial Justice Network say those officers ignored Gurley's mother, Ruth, when she told them to leave, and that was only their first mistake. Body camera footage shows Gurley lunge at an officer with a knife before being shot dead. That officer was released from the hospital later that day. A mental health professional and a lawyer hired by Gurley's family spoke during a news conference this afternoon, and they say they're conducting an investigation of their own. They say the officer who killed Gurley acted too rashly. According to the Racial Justice Network, documents shared by Gurley's family show he had a history of mental illness, and the situation should have been handled with that in mind. They say officers need to be trained in de-escalation in dealing with mentally ill people in distress. When they see an officer, it scares them to death. So they are going to go in a defensive mode, and that's what Mr. Prince did. Went in the defensive mode, figuring that he uh, were, were, were being attacked. We know that as a split-second decision of a fairly new officer resulted in the loss of a life of Mr. Gurley and loss of his family enjoying him. Chief Tony Flowers with the Marion Police Department says the department already conducts de-escalation training. He says he isn't able to comment on the incident or the experience level of the officers involved due to SLED's ongoing investigation. In Marion, Jack Billiou, News 13.